Hello and welcome to Man of the Ants Blake's Techno Lust. Now with Oculus Touch support. So this has been out for quite a while. It was one of the one of the very early things I played on the original dev kits back in the day. Merc link complete. And was it a Kickstarter? If it was a Kickstarter, I'm not too sure if it was now or not. So I played it a little bit when it was on the dev kit two, I think it was. Um, and then. I know these back end systems aren't your style, but this is your run, so try to keep up. When it was released as a full game for the Oculus CV1, I played a little bit. I played it for like an hour or so, and then just moved on to other things. Um, X, she said, didn't she? Yes. And now that it's got Oculus Touch support... A lot of people get sick this deep in the murk. When you move forward and your body doesn't feel the Gs, your brain thinks you're poisoned. Anyway, these new Iris systems have a fix built in. You can toggle it off and on. I use it. Nothing to be ashamed of. So yes. Now it's got Oculus Touch support, I think it's time to go back in here. Like I said, it's a quick toggle if you want to switch. Yep. And finally, uh, complete the game like I never have before. So, that was something. What does that do? The Ryan Ryancorp systems are a milk run compared to some of the AI nets you've been through. No firewall. Nobody sniffing our packets. Milk run. That does that. And then, uh, right, okay, so B changes you to this kind of step movement. But who's going to want that? Oh, when it's got this. It's about time you got your eyes wet in a real Orion system anyway. Don't get me wrong, I'm more than happy to take my cut. But I mean, you should be in here every day with me and Glitch. Free room and board, hardline merc connection, taking down our corporate overlords, it's lulls. Yeah, so why is uh, recenter your view? Is there a menu? No, I'm going to see if I can I change that. Um... politics, but we could use the help. Right, there the we pay go. isn't that hot, but you find the odd juicy packet. The left trigger is run. Yeah, man, I want fucking revenge. An A and right trigger do that. Fire these balls out all over the place. Which completely obscure my view. There we go. The oh. only one left on this floor. There we go. Flame. I don't know, I think they learn a few tricks about these corpse systems and start working for the man. It's like, as soon as you get some credit, you forget what it's like to be down here, you know? Yeah, I know. I know. Tell me about it. So I'm going to see if there's a way to turn off the uh, nice rotation. So I know that it's useful for a lot of people who haven't quite got their VR legs yet properly, and this sort of game, first person moving around where you can strafe and stuff, is the sort of game which is going to freak you out if you aren't immune to its effects yet. Myself, I've been playing <laughs> VR games for a few years now, so... I'm pretty immune to it, only very occasionally. I think Technolust was one of the one of the first things I played on the CV1. It's one of the few things that did cause me a little bit of a little bit of uh, waviness in my head. I didn't go quite as far as motion sickness, but definitely a little bit wavy. But since then, I've played a huge amount of games. Oh, this trip wasn't a waste after all. No. Looks like your boy Chip put a file trap on this nerve. Did it? Let's see if he caught anything. Let's. Yes, there's a file in here. That is just some gnarly piece of malware. Oh, that's my things blowing up. Yeah, sounds like a virus. <clears throat> Boring. Boring. Well, I'm gonna jack out and have a peek inside. Once Chip gets back to you with the creds, come up to the pad. We can compare notes. Or just jam. Whatever. Also, bring my half. Later. Laters. User, Amity, logged out. We should make a copy of the file in the trap. Let's. How do we do that? Go up to this. Trap connected. Download commence. Right trigger did that, by the way. In case you needed to know. Here is gene.sys. A little bit more. I'll do. Transfer complete. Loading VR. OS for file decryption. Let's do that. Let's decrypt this son of a bitch. Area secured. Click to play new message. Okay. Oh, do do. Warning. Hardline connection terminated. You received a new private message before connection was lost. 
please disable local uplinks and exterior connections to continue. So this is all very familiar, I'm sure, to a lot of people. I think this room was the uh, what was released on the dev kit one originally. So this is what, for a lot of people, this was their first sort of introduction to a, a 3D environment, I guess. So yeah, this is this is a pretty big thing, really. Technos was a big thing back in the day, and it's, I, was, I was really happy that he brought it forward to a full game for the uh, VR. Sable Link. Yes. So, oh, hello. Got a little thing on our hands. Oh, we've got a, uh, what does that say? Flashlight. Ah, that's cool. To-do list. Okay. Options. So we'll look for the, uh, the your would it be? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's what I want. What's this do? Nothing yet. So, this little options pack on the back of our hand is kind of so well placed, I actually have to, if I hold my finger out straight whilst I'm doing it, I am basically actually touching the back of my hand each time. Which is, I don't know, it's a very, very weird feeling. Yeah, okay, cool. So we've got a little flashlight. I wonder if that recharges. I don't know. Let's leave it off for now, just in case. So, talking of case, here's a nice water-cooled PC with an absolutely monumental graphics card, which we can pick up. Ah, oh, I don't know why that surprised me so much. But there we go, it's a nice big graphics card. A pair of pliers. What's this? Radar men from the moon. Commando copy. This is the dev kit 2. This is, isn't it? Yeah. So that's the that's what the dev kit 2 looked like. It's even got the little uh, little cable thing on the top. That's awesome. What do you have here? Can I get? Nope, can't get any of those. Disable this uplink. What have we got over here? Whereas in the slums, this is the uh, this is the dev kit one, which actually looks a little bit smaller than it should do. Really, the dev kit one had a big seven-inch screen, which is why it looks so chunky compared to the rest of them. So, okay, we were missing one somewhere, are we? Where are we? What are we missing? What is that? Nothing I can pick up. Okay, won't worry about that. It's got the old Atari. It's called Video Computer System. It's a very Rob Halford looking little uh, bobblehead. Oh, stay there, stay there, stay upright. That'll do, that'll do, okay. Can we put the toast down? Which one does the toast go down? Maybe not. So instantly, just the inclusion of the touch makes this um, a lot of fun. Just straight away. Just adds a lot more immersiveness to the game. So area secured. So now do we, we doing something over here? Oh yes. Things aren't going as planned. I'm leaving the scene. I'm sending you a schematic. Print it. It'll come in handy. Okay. Someone from the crew will get in touch. Good luck. You too, buddy. I'm trying to make a thumbs up, but apparently I can't. Warning, unknown attachments may contain malicious software. Ah, I'd be the fine, I know the guy. to be a schematic. Moving to work drive. Collect enough of the required components to build the item. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Is that the old, um... 
It is, that's the DevKit 2 case. DevKit 2 come in a, a very nice plastic case that you could uh, use as a carry case, which was a, was a very nice feature. It's a bit of a shame they didn't carry it along to CV1, but I guess just costs kind of uh, hamstring on them a little bit. We do get a very nice cardboard case with the, the uh, CV1, but the, the DK2 definitely had a beat in that area. So what's going on now then? Nothing there. I don't know if we've got this, just the toilet. And this is just the toilet. Lovely, lovely stuff. So. Ah. One new schematic loaded. More copper required to build. So this is our 3D printer, I'm guessing, is it? And more carbon required as well. Carbon and copper. And this is our, uh... Ooh, hello. It's linked. That's cool. So, boop, boop, boop. Yeah, good stuff. I don't even know you see the uh, SNES down there. Nice. More aluminium. Oh, sorry. I'll do it the American way. More aluminium required to build schematic. So, like I say, I have played a bit of this. I played an hour or so on the, uh... See if you when it first came out. But already, I'm kind of feeling a little bit, a little bit stuck. Am I getting the rest of the uh, components it needs? Is that what I'm doing? None of that seems to do anything anymore. That's just still saying I need carbon and aluminium. So I've got to take like the can there. Yes, okay, so the pan will be aluminium. Carbon will be the toast? Yes. So I'll burn that, that'll be that. What's the copper gonna be? The lamp. The lamp's gonna be the copper. Yes, it is. Good stuff. Figured that out fairly quickly. I'm assuming. Complete. Toast again. We need to be burnt. Burnt to a cinder. So we'll just wait for that to finish toasting. What else we got around here? Nothing I can pick up. But the bowl? No. Yeah, there we go. Nice bit of smoke as we want to see. Poppity poppity pop. I said poppity poppity pop. Poppity poppity pop. Toasting complete. Cut. Yep. Perfect. Thank you very much. So let's pop down here. I can't run in house, or can you? Maybe, maybe it's just not very noticeable. How do we... Yes, I know. I don't know how to give you aluminium. Um... Gather the appropriate materials to yep. build the schematic. Yep. Materials are listed in the workbench area. Yeah. Where do they go? That's the question. I just enabled the, yeah, the movement thing. This flyer mysteriously appeared in your apartment yesterday. Okay. We should investigate further. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so nothing there. How do I? I don't know, I picked it up, I just don't know how to get to it. Okay, why is the recenter the view? Um Ah so X is a little shortcut to the torch. Oh I've turned on the bloody There we go. What did that do? Do I still need more? Is this what it's telling me? Is that what it's telling me? That I just need more stuff? So where would I get more stuff? From the candles?
No, I cannot run in my apartment, which is a little, uh, a little frustrating. It'd be nice if I could. Um, the bobblehead does nothing. None of that does anything. I'm just not very sure what to do. Okay, so, welcome back everyone. So I have figured it out, well I say I figured it out. I finally found a video of someone playing on the touch, because a lot of things have changed for the touch release. I guess that's why I didn't ca carry on from my save from the previous uh, controller based game, which is a little bit annoying, because it could have given me the option at least. I had gone on a little bit, and I don't think I've, I've definitely not wiped my computer since then, so it should have been there somewhere. So, I know what we need to do. Apparently, for starters, this is actually a little model of the developer, whose name I've instantly forgotten. Uh, something Blair. Reynard Blair, I think it was. So apparently, that's a little model of him, which is a nice little touch. So the last piece of aluminum that we need, this here, that I assumed was a remote and I couldn't pick up before, and I was like, oh, I'll just ignore that then. It's not a remote. This credit stick is nearly depleted. It contains only enough for one soda. There we go. So all the time, that's what I needed, and I completely missed it. So now, we come over here, we'll get the last aluminum. Report and there we go. Components obtained. Schematic ready to print. So, we'll come over here, get the enter button. Right then, Jesus. Can't believe that took me so long to finish. It's a Merc Red Box. It allows the user to jump into Merc Hard Lines. Highly illegal, but quite useful. Oh, hello. Uh, press? We have aroused suspicion. Right, here we go. To mobile platform. This area is no longer secure. <laughs> Okay, so we need to get out of here now. That's what that's saying. They're watching you. They are indeed. So. Pretty sure that when you swap areas, it does uh, save the game for you. I think swapping areas and using telephones. The complex appears to be under lockdown. We will have to find an alternative route. So. I'm going to leave it there because I spent so long looking for the credit stick that I have, I mean, uh, the actual recording time is up to about 50 minutes. I'm going to cut out a lot of the stuff in the middle that you guys do not care about. Um, but yeah, I'm actually spent 50 minutes trying to get this far because I am a useless individual. And I was so focused on that machine and I knew it was that machine, I couldn't figure out how, how it was. And I'm sure before, in the previous, and I know from watching the videos just now, that watching the previous, in the, in the controller-based version of the game, you just use the machine and the, the thing popped out and that was it. You didn't have to get the credit stick. So that's, that's new for the touch and I think that's what's confusing me a little bit. So that little bit of knowledge... Oh, my torch doesn't work. Oh, it does. Oh, my torch button doesn't work. So a little bit of knowledge was a very dangerous thing in that circumstance. So yes, I'm going to leave it there. I'm also going to quit out and just make sure that it does actually load back up to where I am, just to make sure. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, do click the like or subscribe button. It'd be very much appreciated as always. If any questions, comments, or suggestions, do leave them down below or on one of the social media sites and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. Otherwise, I will see you next time in Technolust. Thank you very much for joining me.